hi guys and welcome back to my channel okay so today i kind of made a series for you guys on how to make number cake toppers from zero to nine like am i not awesome yeah <laughs> okay so this video today in this video today i'm going to show you guys like i made different designs for different toppers so you guys can see and then i made the topper with a, a gum paste that firms up in less than two hours yeah so if you want to see the recipe to make that gum paste in case like maybe you forgot to make your um your topper in advance and you like it to firm up really fast yes in case you like to see the recipe for that gum paste i'm going to leave the link right up here it says click on me yeah click on that so look at these toppers i made i had different designs for each one so i'm going to show you guys how to make them and i have a playlist basically for this so but in this particular video i'm going to show you how to make the number one and the number one has like a white black and gold leopard skin pattern so that's what we're going to be making so this is my gum paste that firms up really fast you can see how kind of tough it is yes so that's what we're going to be using today and we're going to be making the number one so what you want to do first of all is to roll out like a log shape and this log shape you're rolling you want to make sure one end is tapered thin and the other end is a little bit fatter yes so that's what you want to do so make sure one end is tapered thin and the other one is like it kind of like becomes fatter on the other end yes as it goes downward okay so that's what you want to do so once you're done with that you want to make sure it is the same like your log is like the same width it is not too maybe it's not it's not thick in some areas and not thin in some areas like it is uniform basically that's the english i was looking for it is uniform okay so once you have this you want to take your your smoothness and also your um razor so you want to take your razor and this razor you want to make sure you have a razor that you use specifically for fondants for food not like razor that you use for other things that's not hygienic and stuff so you want to take a razor and cut out the end so it can be flat the end as the one end has to be flat that's the bottom of the one and then you want to use your smoothener to press it down so it can be so like the shape of your number one can be flat and wide that was what i did and at this point we are trying to do the same thing for the bottom of the number one you know that thing at the the you know the horizontal line at the bottom of the number one that's what we want to do so that's what i'm doing right now and you want to make sure like it is as you want to press it down too and you want it to be as tapered as the number one and then we are going to glue it together but <clears throat> but before we glue it together we want to make sure it fits and we want to make sure like one side is not fatter than the other if that makes sense so i like to use my smoothness to do that and to like make sure there is no like maybe ends that are sticking out or anything so once we are done with this what we want to do is like before we stick it together with glue we want to take our skewer i like to use long skewers toothpick can do this but toothpick is not long enough except you're making a very small one yeah but for this one this one is quite big so you want to take a skewer and then you want to take some edible glue like i'm going to leave the link for my edible glue right up here for you guys if you want to see how to make that it works really well with gum paste so you want to put some edible glue so that when the ends meet it will glue together and then you want to take your smoke knife again and make sure like everything is like you know well done and nice and stuff so press it down and wherever you think it's bulging out use your smoke knife to you you know put it back in place so now that we are done making the number one we are going to paint on it because we want it to be pretty you can do any design you want based on the cake you're going to be putting it on and the color you use should be based on the cake you're going to be putting it on so on this cake we're going to be doing a black and gold um leopard skin pattern so i'm taking my some of my gold dust that i already added vodka to to make gold paint and then some black black food coloring so i'm going to take a small brush and if you want to buy this gold dust that i use it is very pigmented and it is amazing you can basically use it to cover any color and you can see that color underneath so if you want to buy that i'm going to leave the link for you guys in the description box below for you to buy that and the link to some of my favorite cake tools as well in case you might find some of them useful so i'm going to take my little brush and i'm going to make tiny dots and little patterns of gold on top of my number one cake topper just randomly it doesn't have to be like a particular you know sequence or anything just randomly until you are satisfied 
and so once we are done with the gold we want to go back with some black food coloring but the black you want to take us an even smaller brush and you want to clean it you don't want to use the same brush you used on the gold so it doesn't transfer the colors so you want to take the black yeah and then you want to form like brackets around the gold so you want to form mini brackets and some of them you write like a c around it so it won't look too uniform so you can do like a bracket a c a bracket a c kind of so that's what you want to do so right now i'm forming a bracket can you see what i'm doing so yeah that's what you want to do all around your number one cake topper so once you're done forming brackets and c's every single gold should have a bracket and a c that's how it should be so once you're done doing that you want to touch take some of your black food coloring again and just make some tiny tiny random dots around your number one and that's all you have to do and you have a leopard skin painted number one and if you like to paint the back as well that's something you can do you can paint both the back and the front just make sure like maybe you stick your um skewer into um like a dummy you know those dummy cakes so you can have access to the back of the um of the number one or you let the front dry and then you do the back that takes a little bit longer so you can stick it into something so you can hold upright so you can paint on the black if you like the black to paint the black to back too but i didn't really paint the back, back for this i only painted the front just to show you guys so that's all you have to do guys if you love this video and this tutorial please um give me a thumbs up on this video <laughs> and leave me a comment in the comment section below and please let me know what other videos you like me guys you guys would like me to make for you because i feel like i'm running out of ideas okay so now i'm putting the dot 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 it kind of brings everything all together at once so and my topper is really pretty i don't really have a cake to put this on i'm just making it for you know video purposes so thank you guys for always watching my videos i hope you enjoy this and if you have any question make sure to leave it for me in the comment section below so this is our number one cake topper and it is so pretty okay guys so if you're watching everything on this series i love you so let's move on to number two See you guys.